All right, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. And uh, we're about to show our poem to Monica. Uh, I think you mean Monica. Don't you tell me how to say it, because you've been saying Monica the last three episodes. Nope, that wasn't me. Dude, I will fucking go through and highlight every time you say it. Good. Monoka. Not going to, because fuck that. Hi, Kiki-chan! Have you thought about what you would want to submit to perform at the festival? No. Should go Hungarian? No. Yes. Got a little weird at the end. Well... <laughs> being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. Ahaha. Ha. Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Hold on a minute. I let Minoka take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style has gotten so refined, Kiki-chan. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. There it goes. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked the whole year. Not sure how you do it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a... And a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting in, getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Eh? That's... <laughs> we didn't already do this part, did we? I feel like I remember that, but... I don't know, maybe she said it another time. No, it's literally everyone we've talked to was just like, You must really like Yuri. And we're like, uh, no, what? What are you even saying? Yeah, we're like, oh no, how did you ever tell? Well, I was feeding her chocolate and we were all being all cute and blushy. Yeah, they are cute and blushy. He's awfully suspicious, you know? Spending time with her in club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Edgy? Edgy, that's what it says. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is it an edgy novel? What, what is... What it's, is an edgy novel? Like, I mean, it what was like a horror it? story, right? And it was like a different perspective of life? I don't know. I don't know. I'm either. not reading the book. I can't tell you how it's edgy. We kind of are-ish. Uh, well... <laughs> I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, this novel isn't too bad either, you know? Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? She'll fucking stab us. <laughs> I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. God. Are we, are we Monica, foreshadowing super hard right now? Why is this character so foreshadowy? He's like, save your game! Oh wait, that's not the writing tip! <laughs> I will do a writing tip of the day! <laughs> Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like, I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't mean that. I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Err, uh, alright. Lady who knows everything, huh? <laughs> the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, 
all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. A lot more to this than I thought. Lost adrift in the sky, victim to the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceased to blow, I fall. And I fall and I fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, as I am a feather. A dry quill expressionless. But the hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her in... I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. But before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. I pick up a gust of wind. Wow, brutal. Yeah. She was like, oh. everything you believe is wrong. Everything, any small glimmer of hope you had, just pieces of shit. Bye. Whoosh. Whoosh. That's a good poem, though. I liked it. You know, I feel like learning, looking for answers are sort of the same things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lo lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? Yes. They all seem upbeat. <laughs> I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Says the two-dimensional. Yeah, drawing. I was like, uh, I was like, is this also foreshadowing? <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd know that better than anyone. This is actually breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> you mean one-dimensional? Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, that. <laughs> That's funny. They are two-dimensionals. Here, wrong with you? Yes, they are two. -dimensionals. Do you want me to wait until he goes? I'm not really doing anything. Not. He's just standing there like being stupid. As I said, one cut, so if I'm gonna... Oh, we keep going. This okay. is good. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid that it is not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. Is she talking about us? But if you find other people who enjoy writing, and then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, They'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. Almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Don't you think? Don't you think? <laughs> this makes me think of Porter lands every time. Don't you think? I don't know. Thanks for listening! I know who you're talking about. Um, Marcus. Said, yeah, you said Borderlands? I thought you said Porter's Lines. 
Oh, no. Fuck Porter. <laughs> you know I love you, Porter. I don't know if you're actually watching this. You don't He's watch not. anything, so... Anything I do. Yeah, fuck Porter. <laughs> okay, you three! Porter, if you're watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you should already be subscribed, you asshole. I mean, he is. But there we go. He could do the other two. <laughs> like, comment, and then comment again. We're all done sharing phones, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's also me. Yeah, look at my you still. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. A c catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh boy. <laughs> in your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different in that Sayori is in here. Oh yeah, I forgot she left. Huh. It seems you're right. Bye. <laughs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please, show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? All of the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for the two, for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of being a, been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. That curious ex expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Beta totally does not answer our question. Like, we're not even yeah, here. Yeah, no, she's just like, no, that ain't happening. <laughs> Fuck you. She's like, don't make me get the potatoes. For real. <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. Uh, that's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck! <laughs> But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Oh, okay. Not bad. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. That sounds like a lot of work. It does. Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for you, Yuri... Yuri, you can, uh... Uh, um... <laughs> uh, guys! Can you 
help me come up with something for Yuri? That makes me think of, um, Thor and the Explorer for a second. Like, what should Yuri do? Come on, you guys! Yeah. I need some answers! Just stares at us unblinkingly. Yuri can eat chocolate from my hands. I'll feed them to her. Yep, good club activity. Better not be eating the rocking chair. You stick. I'm better than eating the rocking chair. I... I'm useless. Mm. No, no! I... That's not it at all! You just don't have a lot of skills. You're the most talented person here, you know? Ah, oh, you piece of shit. I'm standing right here. <laughs> Oh, Natsuki's pouting too! Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri! You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere! <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be wonderful help, Yuri! But anyway... That just leaves you, Kikicha. Alright, well we're out of time for this one, so tune in next time to see what grueling task we get tasked with. I bet it's only manual labor and hard work. I bet it's to help Yuri. Nah, it's probably something stupid, like, uh... You get to, uh... Wash all the windows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Something like that. Like, you get to clean up afterwards. You get to try You'll be to... our janitorial staff. <laughs> you get to try to bring in people so they can listen to us read. You'll be the one introducing everyone <laughs> before they read their poems. Awful. Alright, well, we'll be back. Alright, bye!